first part of the video. Here we will discuss uh, liquidity war and the war that is based on Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, now for uh, uh, liquidity war, uh, we had already discussed about uh, spread uh, that if we have a higher the spread, then there would be lesser liquidity. As a result, there would be higher war. Uh, now look at uh, uh, the formula for liquidity war. Uh, we have static spread as well as dynamic spread. In static spread, uh, we take just uh, uh, average of uh, spread. Let's say it is the 0.009 while uh, uh, the volatility in uh, in uh, this spread is say 0 0.008. Now to get uh, uh, static spread uh, um, in context of liquidity war, uh, the first part is the same as in case of absolute uh, value at risk that we had already calculated in our uh, previous video, minus 0.0377. Now just adjust it for uh, uh, average volatility uh, divided by two. Now the first one for a static war, uh, the first this one is same. Uh, plus this uh, average volatility divided by two. Uh, while for a dynamic spread, uh, again we'll take the same absolute war uh, plus. This uh, average volatility plus Z value that is multiplied by volatility in spread divided by two. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, it is the uh, somewhat higher. That is minus 0 0.0398. Uh, now, uh, the last uh, method uh, that is the uh, basically we want to calculate for single asset, uh, we use the Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, for Monte Carlo simulation, uh, we can uh, expect uh, uh, stock prices by using uh, uh, noun function. Uh, here is Norm inverse function. Here, the for probability, we will use rand function. It values lies between zero and one. And uh, then, uh, average value, we will take uh, this average value that we had already calculated. Just fix it. And then, for standard deviation, again we have this standard deviation for historical data. And it is latest data uh, for current year. Uh, means from uh, January uh, 2022 to January 2023. And then fix it. And just enter. Uh, for example, we want to run 1000 simulation. Just double click. Look at here. Just see count, we have 1000 simulation. Now get its average. That uh, what would be its uh, mean value? Uh, here is the mean value. And then we can get uh, standard deviation. And then Z value, Z value is same. Now for average value, uh, we can we can convert into values so that it cannot change. Anyhow, uh, for average value, average, and we have uh, this symbol, and it start from here, and then fix it. Now this is our average value and then just copy it down for standard deviation and change this average to standard deviation sample. 
Now we can get uh, this uh, value at risk with the help of simulation. Means relative value at risk as well as. Absolute value at risk. Just copy. Sorry, we, we can use uh, our own function. Our own formula means Z multiplied by standard deviation. Again, this Z multiplied by standard deviation. You can see that it is almost uh, the same that uh, we had calculated uh, uh, for actual data that was 0 0.036 and it is uh, uh, minus 0 0.039. Uh, you can take uh, different values by pressing F9. And it is almost uh, the same 0 0.036 and then 0 0.036. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching video. In the next video, uh, we will calculate value at risk for portfolio.